Today was my 222nd COVID test. Oh my God. Wow. I've taken 212 COVID tests since you got August. Left in there? Two, two, two. Oh, yeah. two, two, two. oh, it's 222. Two, two. Yeah. Oh, something big gonna happen for me today. That's the number I see on my telephone all the time, 222. Two, two. You know, you know, you can look numbers up. Numerology has it. Is that you do? They yeah. say angelic memories, uh, angelic meanings, but 222 two, two of God releases angels of prosperity. So wow. some great's gonna happen for me today. Today was my 222nd COVID test. Wow. Yeah. I knew I was having a good day today. I don't know what God gonna do for me, but I'm, one thing about me, I stay watchful when it come to God. I'm always looking to see what he got for me today. Cause God, man, he, he, he laid me out. Even, even when I have a tough day, I hang in there because I know there's something behind that. Behind every moment of adversity, there's always a lesson and a blessing. But what messes people up is y'all have these moments of adversity and you act like it's final. No, man, it's gonna, something's gonna happen behind that. So you just have to learn how to wait it out. I've waited out a lot of stuff in my life, man. But God is good, man, whoo. He done laid me out. I was driving in today, man. My driver was talking to me and saying, Mr. H, did you ever see all this? I said, no, I really didn't, man. I just, I'll be honest with you. You know, it kills me when people do award shows and they go, you know, I always knew this was gonna be my life. Really? How? How? How did you know this was gonna be your life? How did you know something was going to happen that you didn't even know existed? This life wasn't even in my imagination. You know, the, what, I, what I had imagined my life was gonna be? <laughs> God then, he took this thing to a whole nother level, man. That's why I tell people, you know, like, you know, like I was telling them yesterday, I ain't the best Christian, you understand? I ain't finna be the best Christian, but I'm a good enough one. I'm in the game. And you, you, quit, you can quit talking to all that perfect Christian mess anyway, cause you ain't. You tell that lie to somebody else. One lady was in the audience one day. And I said, ma'am, it seems like you're not having a good time. I'm so disappointed in you. Oh and I, you know, I said, you're disappointed. You're not having a good time? Well, I was. And I, I've heard you, you've been cursing. I said, excuse me? She said, you've been cussing. I thought you were a Christian. Well, I'm a, I'm a cussing Christian. <laughs> I just, I, I cuss. I don't, I don't what, you, what you want me to tell you? Well, if you're a Christian, you're not supposed to cuss. Well, you're a Christian, you're not supposed to do a whole lot of stuff. But what you think grace and mercy for? 